What's up guys, Caleb here with another installment of Reality Check and today we are talking about the turn off the f***ing aircon. talking about the Cougar Panzer right now. Let's pretend I didn't do that. Let's jump right into it. Okay, let's start with its build. It's built like a tank. You'll get that later. <laughs> so it has a predominantly steel interior, which is pretty typical for the build material of pretty much any PC case. Um, and it's got a steel exterior. But what's nice about this is that a lot of the elements have this honeycomb mesh texture. So that provides a very cool aesthetic design, which I'm a fan of. It also has tinted glass side panels. Now this gives you a little bit of a view into your PC, but you won't be able to see every little bit of detail. What's nice about it though, is that if you have some kind of RGB lighting or RGB fans plugged into your PC, then it adds a really cool tinted lighting effect to it. So I really like that about it. It was an interesting touch, I thought. Another nice little touch for the Cougar Panzer, Pans, Panzer. Another nice little touch for the Cougar Panzer is it has a magnetic dust filter tray attached to the back. So you can pop that off, boop, just like that, boop. <laughs> you can pop it off just with an easy tap, boop, with a finger, and then you can clean that thing out and put it back on. So I thought that was a nice little addition to the Cougar Panzer as well. In terms of what kind of screws it works with, the exterior is, thumb screws, which I'm a huge fan of. I, I hate having to get a screwdriver into those finicky places to try and install new components or remove components. It's a huge mission. But the exterior uses thumb screws to remove the tinted glass panels, so I like that. The interior uses regular screws, but you want that obviously to secure your components a bit more. It needs to be a bit more sturdy and thumb screws don't necessarily provide that. All in all though, the Cougar Pans is an incredibly well-built case with plenty of space for different cooling options and different PC components. The ins and outs that the Cougar Pans comes with are four USB ports, two of them being USB 3 and two of them being USB 2. It also gives you a headphone jack and an audio jack, so that's pretty much everything you're going to need for your basic ins and outs. It also comes with six drive bays. Now that is plenty of space for internal storage. Four of them are compatible with the 2.5 inch drives and two of them are compatible with the 3.5 inch drives. However, you can instead install 2.5 inch drives in those 3.5 slots. So that's nice that it gives you that option. Another awesome thing that comes pre-packaged with the Cougar Panzer is the motherboard bridges that are already installed inside the case. So you wouldn't have to worry about putting them in the correct places for installing your motherboard. It's already there, it's already set up, you just gotta screw the motherboard in. I really like that. In terms of its dimensions and compatibility, the Cougar Panzer is a 208 by 565 by 520 millimeter case. So in terms of its component compatibility, it can take a CPU cooler that is no bigger than 160 millimeters. It can take a GPU that is no bigger than 425 millimeters, 400 millimeters only if you have a front fan installed. There are no restrictions on the power supply, so you can buy any power supply and it should be able to easily fit inside the Cougar Panzer. In terms of the motherboard form factors that it is compatible with, you can use either a mini, a micro, or a regular ATX motherboard, and it should be fine, as well as a CEB motherboard. I think one of the biggest selling factors for me about the Cougar Panzer is that it can fit up to eight different fans. It's compatible with eight total fans. That is just cooling power to the max. It's like a hurricane levels, just all over the place. What's really nice about the Cougar Panzer is that it comes pre-installed with a 120 millimeter fan. So if you didn't get around to buying anything for your build, you will at least have one if you buy this case. So that's pretty nice of them. Thanks, Cougar. The Cougar Panzer is usually targeted towards mid-level gaming enthusiasts, someone who have a little bit of budget to play around with. If you are working with basically no money, then this probably isn't the case for you. This is all the options for really high powered motherboards and graphics cards and CPUs. Uh, but that obviously costs a little bit of money. So if you don't have the money, this isn't necessarily the case that you should buy. But if you are planning towards a really decent computer build, um, then this is probably the case for you. We threw some of our own components in here for a mid-level 1080p gaming PC. You can now watch me pathetically try and put it together. I've never built a PC before, but I did in this video. So enjoy this. Okay, I think that's it. That comes with when installing the motherboard, I'm already out of breath, we've still got so much more to do. We're going to jump on to installing the graphics card. Enter the producer. 
Say what's up to the camera, Graham. What's up to the camera, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going in that spot? Huh? This is what Priest recommended. Usually go in the top spot. <laughs> Your car usually goes in your top spot. But it looks pretty awesome. It it's got plenty of space for cable management. If you can see here, there's plenty of cables plugged in, but you can't see a lot of the wiring. And it's just generally very cool. At a mid-range price, so I'll give you a mid-range level of enthusiasm. Money talk. At the time of this recording, the Cougar Panzer was priced at around 1,300 Rand on EVTEC. So mid-level price, but you're getting a lot out of it. It comes with the pre-installed fan, you've got all the space, you've got a magnetic dust filter, which is one of my favorite touches, the tinted glass sides, a really, really awesome looking case with plenty of space for a decent price. And that pretty much wraps up this week's installment of Reality Check, guys. Post pictures of your awesome PC builds in the comment section below. I wanna see your cable management skills on par with this. I wanna see your awesome LED RGB setups just shining through. And just generally let me know the awesome machines that you are running at home. Do not forget to hit like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys next week for another installment of Reality Check. What?